here we are back at Suzuka Twin Circuit celebrating 20 years of RSR, the iconic company contributing and being an absolute pioneer in the drifting world. Let's learn more as we get ready for our great eights. Again, FDUSA versus some Japanese legends, and this is how the bracket is shaping up. Again, we have our number one FDUSA driver going against our number four ranked driver. So that will pose Odi Bakshis against Yu Yuichi Inomura. And then number two ranked Japanese driver, Nob Nobutero Taniguchi, is going against number three ranked Dylan Hughes. And then on the other side of the bracket, you can see Habino, our number one Japanese ranked driver, that RSR S15, is going against Matt Field, who is in an S15 as well, unfortunately, uh, popped the engine and is driving the backup car of Masuyama. So again, thank you to Masuyama for loaning the keys. And then finally, uh, finishing second highest on the back of competition, Frederick Osbo will go against Manabu Orido, the third ranked Japanese driver. That gentleman right there, Habino, rises to the occasion, our number one overall backy winner of our RSR Drift Festival 2023. So Tetsuya Habino, piloting the RSR S15. We are we are live right here, bud. And uh, again, thank you. How you doing? I, I'm staying out of the heat, staying out of the cold, and uh, that's what we're kind of seeing here. Which which battle am I kind of, I, I mean, I, I have to say Osbo versus Arito, because, you know, both vehicles prepared by RSR. That is definitely uh, one to watch. I wish Matt had his Corvette for this battle, and it was running 100%, but Field versus Sabino would be a great battle. So our first battle of our RSR Drift Festival 2023 here in the Great Eight. Imamura going against Odi Bakshis. Now keep in mind, no one more times in Telefinale, and we do have a Constellation battle for third place. And Odi Bakshis will lead the first run because uh, he qualified higher. And here we go, Odie Bakshi's leaving the line. Let's see what Odie's got. Let's see if Imamura's got in the chase position. Odie Bakshi's pulling that first outside zone. Get a second outside zone. Imamura shallow in his angle. Does have the proximity, but needs to be closer. Now transitioning to that outside zone. Final, man, Odie Bakshi's just ticking the boxes. <laughs> Odie just filling all of the zones. And uh, Imamura, you know, he had that proximity, but didn't have the angle as far as mimicking it. And, you know, maybe a, maybe a little trepidatious there as far as, you know, committing. You know, we're talking about, again, here's a Smithsonian-level car. You don't want to ride it off. Well, one of the biggest challenges of this event for the drivers is obviously going from the mindset of biggest backy to now going back <laughs> to the traditional tandem drifting. And you can see Odie Bocchis does get a great start. He's able to fill that zone. Imamura, as you said, Jared, does keep pretty close distance to Odi Bakshi's, but he's not able to mimic the line as well as he would probably like to. Here you can see Odi getting into the first zone and second outside zone, filling it pretty much completely. You can see a little bit less angle there from Imamura, and Odi finishes strong on that last outside zone. All right, so now Imamura will lead in that Apex FDRX7. Odi Bakshi's giving chase. All things RSR. All right, Imamura. Through that start chicane. Let's see how he throws down when he's got the clean air out front. Imamura, straight line approach. Look at that. Quickly gets there. With that second outside zone, Odi Bakshi. Looks like a massage now. Look at that proximity from Odi Bakshi. Yes, sir. Odi slides to the side of that iconic vehicle. Again, two different generations of, of drivers and some great chase job there by Odi Bakshi. Yeah, you have to remember, it's not like Odie drives with Imamura every single day and vice versa. Imamura does a much better job in his lead run, getting out Ooh. to that first and second outside zone. But he leaves a door open here for Odie Bakshi. He goes a little bit wide on that inside clip. Odie tucks up on the inside, stays in the pocket, and then follows yeah. Imamura as he comes up a little bit short on that final outside zone. Yeah, that was really well done there by Odie Bakshi. And uh, we will get the drivers and find out who uh, who gets the victory here. Slide uh -oh. left first slide winner right. of first the winner, Odie Bakshis. Odie Bakshis gets the win <laughs> and advances on into the final four. It's all good. Yeah. Smiles all around. Yep. I mean, like we said, you know, a clash of time frames and culture and cars and you know, Odie coming over here, jet lag, the <laughs> Japanese drivers showing us a, unbelievable hospitality and really giving us a, you know, a true insight to all the history 
of drifting that they've been a part of over the past 20 years. I mean, FD has been around for 20 years, but literally these guys have been doing it for much, much longer than that. But right now it's Novotero Taniguchi who will lead the second highest ranked driver representing Japan. Taniguchi against Dylan Hughes. We got thumbs up. Our starter clears the lane. And Nob will lead. Look at the black smoke coming out the smokestack. All right, Novotero Taniguchi comes in. Again, that, that Jane entry there. Oh. Novotero Taniguchi, aggressive flick in, uses all that outside zone. Dylan the Joker Hughes. Uh oh, he's walking him. Oh, yeah, he is. As Nob comes that last outside zone. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, so again, not, not, you know, we're not we're not in backy town anymore, you no. know what I mean? And Nob just did. He's not going to be stepped on. No, that was a great execution by Taniguchi. Filling especially that second outside zone. Watch the precision. 26 to 1 compression ratio for Dylan here. It's big smoke stack right there. He, he comes in, he compresses against Taniguchi, who hit those first zones. Comes a little bit wide on that inside clip. Starts to walk Dylan a little bit. Dylan makes that adjustment, gets back in the smoke line. Tries to make his way back through the pocket. Let's watch Dylan attack here on the inside. Knob gets right there to the latter part of that zone. Dylan in the smoke line here. Starts moving forward. Knob steps on it, gets a little bit of pace. Dylan smartly cuts the line a little bit to gain that proximity. Good overall battle from both competitors on run number one. Yeah, it looks to me that, like you said, just walking him, walk it like a tuck it as Knob pulled away a little bit there. So uh, Dylan. Maybe a little bit less horsepower. Run him again. Here we go. The second run as Dylan Hughes will now lead that Royal Purple Come on, GT Dale. Radio Let's go. BMW. Yeah, I mean, we're flying that American flag, baby. Here we go. Dylan Hughes out front. Novotero Taniguchi. What kind of proximity are we going to get here? Oh! Big mess. Oh! oh! We got contact. Contact from Novotero Taniguchi <laughs> as Dylan Hughes continues on rolling. Call. Woo! As the judging stand erupts. You got to love that guy, you, man. Oh, dude, that was sick. That was so G'd out. Why not, why not oh, throw it in in the chase in just <laughs> the most ridiculous, crazy, aggressive dude. way? Uh, and Dylan to stay in it. That was that was, that was really cool. That was sick. Oh, you got to love Knob. Let's look at it again. So Dylan cuts over to the left-hand side, makes that initiation. Boom. Knob <laughs> just gets initiated a little bit later, yeah. carrying a lot of momentum. Looks like he wasn't able to kind of guess where Dylan was going to end up once he got to angle, makes that contact with him. Nobutero comes out of drift, but Dylan stays in it, and that's obviously going to be a big benefit for them, for him here, finishing up that run all the way completed. That was fun to watch for sure, though. Dylan Hughes gets the win after a, an aggressive Novotero Taniguchi. Again, boops the snoot of his 86, but uh, maybe he read the, the sticker on Dylan's back window, says bucked up one of his sponsors so he, he's like all right i'm gonna buck up and bucked up a little too hard so dylan the dozer hughes is uh is gonna go against odie so this is what we're talking about so now it's odie versus dylan in the four so uh now we step to the other side of the bracket don't go anywhere we have the second half battles of the great eight when we come back this rsr drift festival Welcome back to the RSR Drift Festival. We celebrate 20 years of RSR. Look at that proximity from Odie Boxy. It's the second half of the Great Eight. Getting ready to go down, time to find out who will meet Odie Boxy's and Dylan Hughes in the semifinals. <laughs> Next battle we will be seeing is Habino, who absolutely slayed it with that backy, but uh, now he's got to keep it tighter. And Matt Field in a borrowed car, Masayama's S15. So an all S15 battle. All right, here we go. Habino versus Field. And I'll tell you, you know, you know who really shouted out Habino was Field. He's like, dude, that guy's badass. Like he 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 has so much respect for Habino. He knows he's a G. And now here he is in Japan at RSR Drift Festival in an S15 going against the ledge that is Habino. Here we go, Habino leads, big Oh, come there. on! Oh, that dives in. Yeah! That field now gets that proximity. Habino with the gangster flick. Now ripping through into that last outside zone. Dude, Habino is just epic, man. He is so good. It's unbelievable. Yeah, and, and, and that, again, that's where front row seat in the respect factory, you know? Like, Dude. Habino, you did good. Just whips it sideways. Field comes up on the inside. 
compresses, has to pull the angle out of the car. And now you can see he hits that inside clip. Field trying to still attack, make up some ground here. But Habino comes out strong with an incredible lead run. Carrying that momentum from the biggest back into the first battle in the great eight. Field got a little work to do here, Jared. He's got to put the pressure on Habino as he will take the lead. Field will now lead Habino. He's going to chase him down. Uh, I, I think he's sitting on a pretty, pretty good advantage here over Field and, and you know, taking everything into consideration. You know, Field only has a few laps in the car. He knows, you know, he's going to throw down, but he's not going to overcook it. You know, it's not his car. It's a borrowed car, but here we go. You never know. They can throw it all out the window or throw it to the wall. Here we go. Matt Field initiates the first outside zone. Avino, Avino's nowhere to be found. Avino backs off quite a bit. So we talked about strategy, but is that is that too much? No. I think I, I think it's like you said. It was pretty smartly played there. Like he he took a shallower line to keep Matt Field in front of him, close proximity. Once we got you know past the apex of the turn, but remember Field really pulled a lot of angle out of the yeah. car in traditional FD kind of judging for this past season. Might have even been an incomplete. So let's take a look Fields, here. Field's chase run. Yeah, in the chase run. But Field comes out with a really strong lead run. I, I think, as you're saying, Habino was dancing a little bit there, maybe like threading the needle a little bit too much. But overall, if you put both things together, I think the needle is kind of leaning in his direction, yeah. unless the judges see it otherwise. But jumping in the car this morning, yeah. right-hand drive, I mean, it's an incredible accomplishment no matter which way you look at it. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's get a score. Moving on into the final four is, boom, Habino gets the win. Tetsuya Habino gets the win. A little bit of sobering news as we oh, see no. Habino moving on here. Dylan Hughes just let us know that he is going to drop out of the tandem competition because he needs to fix something on his car, oh. and he wants to make it back for Team Drift. All right, all right. Oh, there, and there it is. Look at down at Robbie. Look at this. These guys again. Hey, don't hit him. You already hit him on the track, Nob. Hey, does that mean we can fill in Nob? <laughs> uh, right. All right. All right. You guys saw that uh, right now. Bad news. Um, tell us the bad news right now. Yeah. So BMW has a big cast iron uh, or cast iron cast steel trailing arm that basically holds most of the rear tire on. So when we got that bump, it ended up breaking that piece in half. So. Um, I think what we should do is he should just keep competing. I'm going to try and find a welder, and if I can find a welder, I'll try and burn that thing back together and go back out there for Team Tandem. But if his car is good, I think there's no reason why he shouldn't just keep going. So either way, man, I'm, I'm smiling. I'm stoked. The car is still in one piece mostly. So um, we're all smiles over here in the Rope Purple Pits. We're stoked, man. No worries. All right, man. Good job. Can we do that? That's the absolute spirit there. We are, uh, we're up here saying, can we do that? I want to. Yeah, I mean, uh, look. It's, it's our house. And here we are moving on. We'll find out if Nob will go against Odie. But right now, we're looking at Osbo versus Arido. And this is a battle that uh, I, I was heavily anticipating. Again, Freddie in the Fusion vehicle. I call it the Fusion with the Toyota V8 under the hood of the 86. And uh, Max Arido, just iconic vehicle. You know, Frederick, that's where, you know, he, he really has a, a high level of respect for Max Arito. Here we go. Frederick Osbo out front, Max Arito. Oh, dang. With the flare, big aggressive initiation there by Frederick Osbo. Woo! Oh, boy. Frederick Osbo riding that line on that, that second outside zone. Leaves Max Arito in the dust. Did you see that execution by Freddie in that second outside zone? I mean, he was just right there on the course's edge. Um, if you could throw out that uh, Italian finger emoji, that Look was Look at perfect. the mimicking here, though, by both drivers. That was a great job by Arito yeah, at the beginning it. to follow Osbo into that first section. But Osbo here, you can see how consistent he's drawing this wide line, gets right to the inside clip. Here he starts pouring on Whoa. the gas, establishes a gap. Arito has to cut the line. So yep. I think that's advantage Osbo after run number one. So again, an update to the action. Dylan Hughes does get the win, but forfeits his head to head to uh, fix his vehicle and then hopefully get it back for the team what, competition. What a classy move. That's a class move, man. I yep. love it. Yeah, that's cool, man. So again, uh, Dylan said, hey, let's have some fun. Odie's like, oh, man, I just want to advance on. <laughs> <laughs> There's a buy yeah, run. Where's the, yeah, where's, is the protest coming up? Yeah, I don't, no, no <laughs> protest, dude. If we don't have one more time, we we'll definitely not have protest either. Again, all killer, no filler. Here we go. Max Arito out front. Frederick Osbo giving chase. 
What kind of initiation are we going to see here from Burrito? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's right there, tip to tail. In that second outside zone, that allowed Frederick Osbo. Really good proximity here from Freddy. Max Burrito shorts it up just a little bit on that last outside zone. And uh, I, I, I think this is going to be Freddy, Ryan. I think just given that proximity and the execution of the lead run, and here we are, all hands on deck. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, we know Arito is for sure a generational talent in a lot of different ways. Another guy that also is that is Frederick Osbo. Being able to jump in a variety of cars yeah. all over the world at any given time from with completely different setups and be able to do and drive this way is a massive accomplishment. You can see Arito way overshoots that inside clip. Osbo predictably moves with Dorito wherever he goes. He's kind of really maximizing that criteria as the chase driver, using the lead driver as a moving clipping point. Really no major mistakes there from Osbo. A pretty solid lead run from Dorito there towards the end, which gave Osbo that opportunity. But as you said, Jared, I think it's pointing in the direction of Frederick Osbo. So uh, let's see the verdict here between Frederick Osbo and Max Arito. Slide him left for Freddy, right for Max. It looks like Frederick Osbo gets the win. It's unanimous. So again, Osbo advances on. He'll go against Sabino in the final four as we head over to the other side of the bracket. It was intended to be, you know, obviously FD USA on the left hand side, but it worked out where uh, FD Japan and uh, Japanese legend Sabino will go against Frederick Osbo, three time former Jeff champ. We'll be back with a final four from the RSR Drift Festival in Japan. Final four is upon us, Jerry. Yeah, that's right. Odi Bakshis versus Nobutero Taniguchi, and then Habino versus Frederick Oslo. We're moving fast now, right? Yep. As, uh, as we are getting ready for our first battle, the fans are waving Freddy on in. Let's throw it down to Robbie Nishida. Robbie, what do you got? All right, I'm down here at the pits at Hibino. Um, he's doing a great job, obviously, you know, qualifying first. And now he knows he's going to be going against Osbo. So, Osbo is going to be going against Osbo. <laughs> he said he's just super happy and stoked to be able to uh, do a tandem uh, with him. まあ、あの、多分ね、フレドリクス選手、あの、アメリカでもチャンピオン取ってるドライバーなんですが、まあ、あの、そういう人とやっぱり、やっぱり勝ちたいですかね。いや、もうもちろんね、勝負事なんで
trapped line. Frederick Osbo going for it. He's going against Nobutero Taniguchi in a well-prepared car, but Odie. Great jump out of the gate. Yeah, he, he got he got him, and uh, Nobutero Taniguchi just could not catch him at all. He got a little puckery there towards the, the second outside zone. Odie hits it, he, he comes in a little bit tight Whoa, on the first yeah. outside zone, gets really close to the tire wall in that second outside zone, and Knob is here making adjustments, trying to close the gap. Got a little bit of a late jump out of the start line, and smartly, he makes that adjustment to kind of cut the line a little bit to gain proximity to get it in the fight. So now, we'll switch things up. Nobutero Tanaguchi will go to the lead, and Odie Bocchis will chase him down. So Nobutero Tanaguchi will lead in that HKS 86, and Odie Bocchis chased him down. Field suspension, S13. Knob through that start chicane. I'm telling you, Odie Bocchis, he's gonna get real close here. Comes in that second outside zone. Nobutero, good sweep through. Good sweep out of that second outside zone and into the final. Was that enough? That was some really amazing defensive driving from Odie, leaving outside zone one. Let's take a look at it. You can see Taniguchi initiates, comes off the wall immediately. Here's where Odie is trying to make those adjustments without getting too wild and out of control in the car. He's able to do that. Taniguchi gets back on it, gets near that inside clip. Great job on that final outside zone, but comes out of a little bit short. Overall, it seems like Odie had the more consistent of the two runs, making those adjustments where he needed to and having a good solid lead run. Just dropping that tire a little bit in that second outside zone, but putting all those factors in the hopper. Yeah. It's kind of what it feels like. Yeah, absolutely. And it, it, it's great to get that second glance and the truth serum camera that we talk about, that overhead view, I think really indicates that, you know, Odie got thrown off by Knob's line in that in that lead position and uh, just really couldn't couldn't catch up to him due to those kind of, you know, I don't want to call it mistakes, but just the, the choice of line by Novotero Tonaguchi. Odie Bakshi advances on. He's going to the finals. He's guaranteed at least second place. So Odie advances on with, again, N-O-B. Habino versus Osbo on the other side of the bracket. And again, Novotero Taniguchi will have a battle for third place. The RSR Drift Festival continues. Don't go anywhere. As, uh, again, Brian Sage, myself, Robin Shida, got Dai Oshar, Ernie Fixer, and Andy Yen. Don't go anywhere. RSR Drift Festival here at Stupid Twin Circle. Welcome back. We are into the second half of the semifinals. Odie Bakshi has booked his ticket to the finals. Whoa, buddy! Exceeds that crash line. Who's going to join him? Well, it's time to find out. Team, taking a look. That's uh, that's that arm that he was talking about. That's you know, taking that hit on that back right. All right. So Dylan Hughes got the win in the great eight, but uh, unfortunately, in doing so, knob knob tapped that back that back left. So uh, you could see that that hole that damage. So uh, knob continued on, but Odie got the best of him. So here we are in the semifinals with Frederick Osbo and Habino. Should be a good one. Should be an absolute burner. Uh, again, Habino with uh, the great backy, but you don't want to run that right now here in competition. Habino will lead Frederick Osbo giving chase. And away they go from that start line. Here goes Habino, that RSR S15. Big oh, initiation maybe he does. from Habino. Oh, he does. But Frederick Osbo right there, an all RSR battle. This could be the best battle we can see. Look at that formation. Tit for tap right in that last outside zone. Frederick Osbo flexing on him. Habino with a gangster entry. That was tens all that around. That was absolute <laughs> ledge. Odie likes it. I mean, that was a sick initiation by Habino, but Frederick was right there. Yeah. We talked about no backies. Well, he said, hold my beer. Watch this. This, this was an uh, unbelievable Woo! initiation, followed by an amazing chase to get right in the pocket. Look at the matching there from Osbo. Habino goes a little bit wide on that inside clip. Huge snap back around by Habino, though, but Osbo is right there on every move. I mean, if that's not an RSR ad, I don't know what is. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's the commercial right there. RSR Ichiban. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was, oh, man, that was sick. That, this is what we came for. 
Yeah, no, that that's what, and that's what I said. I, I, I knew Freddie and Arito would be good, but I knew Osbo and Habino was going to be even even better. Look yeah, at that. You're seeing, you're seeing two greats right here on course. This it, this may be the only time this happens. Right. Forever. Yeah. This is history, man. Bring them out. Bring them out. Again, about 1,000 horsepower for each vehicle. Again, Habino doesn't look a day over 25. You jerk. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Habino, still young at heart and having some fun. He wants to win this thing. He'd love to take out three-time champ Frederick Osbo. I mean, you know, you talk about the familiarity, and, and Habino hasn't driven this car in a while, so it's great to see him uh, shredding. And, of course, Freddie getting reacclimated to this uh, this vehicle. You know Oswald's going to throw down a sick lead right oh, here, yeah. so I think it's all going to be about the, the chase from Habino. And here's the deal. No one more times. <laughs> yeah. No pressure, judges. Hey, can we change the rules? No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> There's Matt Field and Odie Bakshis waiting in the wings. Odie, uh, he's in the finals. He's looking at uh, who he's going to go against, either Habino or Osbo. And Osbo will lead. I'm looking forward to see what kind of chase we're going to see here from Habino. Yeah, we're going to know right out yeah, of the gate, Yeah, here right? we go. All right, he's pacing him tip to tail. Initiation by Freddy. Freddy gets an outside zone. Rubino, not as close. He does gain that proximity right there. Oh, he draws he it out. It. Oh, it looks like Freddy. Freddy might have the victory here. Unfortunately, Habino uh, just, just lost a little bit of gain on that second outside zone. Well, up and until that first on. inside clip, I was like, maybe we should have let them have one more time. <laughs> But then you can see right here, there, it just looks different. Oswald was already side by side, deep into the pocket, right behind the front wheels. And right here, Abino kind of unwinds it a little bit, hits that inside clip. I think that's going to be enough. Yeah. Because as we said, you know, you know Osbo, he is just so, like, strategic and mechanical, but at the same time brings flair and flavor to his driving, particularly in this car. And uh, both runs from him, lead and chase, were amazing. And I also feel like we're seeing a fun having Freddie. Not that Formula Drift isn't fun by any means, but it's it's highly stressful, highly technical, and and just you know it, it's a long, tedious competition from yeah. 32 to the victory. Yeah, you yeah. know, so it, no, it's, it's it is more of a calculated exercise as opposed to a fun having good time like this. But I have to assume they're all going to be slid right for. Frederick Osbo gets the win. So it's Odie and Osbo in the finals. FD, uh, again, FD USA. Well, he's gonna, Habino's gonna turn right back around because yep. he's got Knob for third place. That's right, so Habino and Knob for third place. But it is, again, Freddy and Odie in the finals. Yeah, familiar, familiar battle, two very different cars. Yeah, I believe uh, Habino's gonna get a fresh set of tires. Novotero Tanaguchi, a lot of Freddy fans. Here in the stands, representing. Yeah, look at that smile. Odie giving him applause. Good run there. We're gonna have a tremendous third place battle as well, though. Again, another another two legends on the other side of it. Not sure how much they've driven with each other, but we've obviously seen what they can do here today, and that's gonna be a really fun one. So there we are. We can see the final battle there. Odie Bakshi's for Frederick Osbo, but before that, we will see Novotero Tanaguchi versus Tetsuya Habino in that S15. We are absolutely ripping through our head-to-head -head battles, but Robbie is with the most recent winner. He's going against the final. He's going against Odie in the finals. What's uh, what's going on in his head down there, Robbie? All right, so the run one was insane, and I know you guys had a great time out there. Now you're in the finals here in this uh, vehicle that you were talking about before. You had this here 10 years ago. You tested it. Now you're back here competing with the FDUS guy in the finals. How does it feel right now? Oh my God, this, this is awesome. And you know, to go against Rito first and then Hibino and be ma being able to move on, it's, it's incredible. I didn't see what happened out there. The, the chase felt pretty good. My lead didn't feel perfect, but to be able to take out the man to beat here today, Hibino feels, uh, feels incredible. But you know, at the end of the day, we're one big happy family. I'm excited to go against Odie. In the finals, we've gone against each other many times before, but not in these cars. So. Uh, May the best man win. I'm gonna gonna lay it all out out there, and uh, yeah, two uh, two V8 cars in the finals uh, here in Japan, huh? Crazy. It's very different. So, how does it feel compared to driving an FD? Because you're in the finals here, and this is a totally different um, drifting event. It's a festival, but also, you know, you've you've felt this before, and you've been in so many different finals. How does it feel today? 
So, you know, it's a festival and we're here to have fun and we're here to put on a good show and not take it so seriously. But we all know that when the helmets go on, it all it's all on, right? So we're all here to try and do as best as we can. And, and um, you know, the, the car is, is great. It's so different from a U.S. car with the NA power. It's very responsive. All the power is there immediately. And I know uh, OD has a, has a similar power plant in his. So... Uh, we were chatting it up during qualifying up on the bank and you know talking about talking about how lucky we are to 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 do this so uh big thanks to all of you guys for being out here watching us and to rsr for putting it on all right good luck thank you when we come back we will see our consolation battle for third place which of the japanese drivers nobotero tanaguchi or tetsuya Lapino is going to get third place and then finally our finals odi bakshi's versus frederick osbo All right, our fans catching a little low on the action. The sun is warm, the sun is out, sun's out, guns out. Uh, some great times here at uh, our RSR Drift Festival 2023. RSR, an early adopter of this just emerging sport 20 years ago, and it's just grown to a, such great magnitude. Still has this niche feel, feels intimate, uh, but it's, it's just got this international appeal. So. The final is set, Odi Bakshi's versus Frederick Osbo, but first we will see Nobotero Tanaguchi versus Sabino, and uh, that will complete level two of our RSR Drift Festival, level two of three, because we'll have the Drift Team competition. And we get uh, Sabino pull out of the garage, and here comes Nobotero Tanaguchi. So both of them headed for that RSR Drift box. And there's Sabino on the start line. He will start first because the highest qualifying driver in the backy competition and here we go an all-japanese battle for third place who's gonna get that final podium spot habino or knob knob a little slow off the start i don't know if that's the right strategy dives in on the inside line habino a gangster flick in the outside zone Nobutero Taniguchi, straight line approach not phased at all Nob, and this is where that horsepower difference comes into play, Ryan. In that last outside zone, you can see Nob foregoing, kind of cutting the line a little bit. And you got to give it up to him either way. It's not like this guy does this every single day. Right. Like, our guys are driving all the time. Habino's a regular driver. You can see that straight line approach in the chase from Taniguchi, trying to figure out how he can get in that pocket. Habino, very smooth, consistent out front. Goes a little bit wide to the third hash mark and a little bit of an odd transition to outside zone three, but you can see that Taniguchi that back in the, in the rear position was making a couple different mistakes that stand out overall when you're looking at the responsibilities of the chase driver. All right, well, here we are alternating the order, and uh, I believe Dylan's team has fixed Let's go. their suspension. Here we go, here is Nob out front, Habino in the chase position. Nob, uh -oh. oh, look at this, Habino, what happened? Habino not even in the road. Oh! And look at this, Habino goes off course. He might have given it back. And he absolutely gave it to him. So unfortunately, <laughs> Habino had some issues, and Novotero Taniguchi, I think, is going to get the win after Habino's major mistake. And here we are, third place goes to, slide him left for Urbino or right for Nobotero. Taniguchi gets third place wow. here at RSR Drift Festival. And we have one more battle left. And that is uh, with Odi Bakshis and Frederick Osbo, two drivers flying the FD USA flag. Ryman Ishida, what the heck's going on down there? Let's go uh, check out what's going on. Looks like the team is putting back the car. Dude, so um, the track ended up having a welder. It looks like it's from 1941, but we plugged that thing in and it fired right up. Luckily, it had some gas in it, and it's a MIG welder, which I'm very familiar with. So I do all my own fabricating and all my own welding, so I felt right at home there. And then we actually ended up welding the controller back together, and then I took one of the wrenches we don't really use, and I welded the wrench to it. You can see it right there. So we got the spanner welded on there, and uh, hopefully we'll be lit up for the team tandem. We'll see. <laughs> uh, absolutely legend, that's awesome. But uh, now we gotta find out who's gonna win, okay. Okay. celebrating 20 yeah, years of it. RSR, the RSR Drift More Festival. Yeah. Odi Bakshi's Frederick Osbo. And you can see the stats here, Ryan and I were talking about it, you know. Keep in mind, this is Odi's 
backup car. So uh, let's see. Our finals are set. Let's send it. Send it. Here we go. Odie Bakshis, Frederick Osbo, RSR, Drift Festival 2023. Here comes Odie Bakshis down the shoot, initiates. Oh, dang. Oh, wow. Look at this initiation. Oh, he comes unwound. Osbo overdid Osbo. it. Yeah, Osbo comes unwound there as he comes out of that second outside zone. What a killer Dude. initiation by by Odie Bakshis, man. Osbo was so freaking close to Odie leaving outside zone two, but it may have cost him a little bit. Let's take a look at this. Nice little snap there from Odie. Doesn't get fully into outside zone one, but he does two. Right there, Osbo bumps him. And you can see Odie has to make that adjustment. Osbo does two. So it looks like that'll be probably fault on Osbo because it seemed like Odie was still on a relatively uh, appropriate line for that section of the course. I think Odie has an advantage and and we, talk, and we talked about, you know, yeah, it was a little kiss, but it threw off. You know, you have to take into consideration the, we talked about the horsepower differences, and, and Freddie needs to take that into consideration. Maybe, you know, Odie's not going to get out of the pocket or get out of the outside zone quick enough. His closing rate is yeah. going to be really, really good. Exactly. So, but now uh, he's off to the races. Frederick Osbo initiates. Now watch this. There goes Freddie to the outside zone. A shallower line by Odie Bakshis. Odie's not letting the Odie horse not stand in his way. No. And, that's, and those, <laughs> that's, that is all about compromisation right there. You know, you saw Odie compromise. He couldn't get to the outside zone like Freddie did because he's powering into it. But Odie cut the line a little bit short. He's not letting the deficit stand in his right. way at all. No, absolutely not. So again, watch, watch on initiation. Freddie fills all that outside zone. Odie cuts the line. So yeah, he definitely cuts the line there. A little bit less angle. I think this is gonna come down to the severity of the tap from Osbo in run one. Osbo's lead here is pretty freaking good. We are finding out that it is a one more time. It is a one more time. They're going at it again. But uh, this is how, how it went down. So again, uh, we got uh -huh. a one more time and it looks like Ernie Fixmer went with, uh, with Frederick Osbo. And uh, again, Andy Yen going with the one more time. So let's go down to Robbie, who's with the Norwegian Hammer. Frederick Osbo, this is, you know, a one more time here. It's the first one more time um, during the top eight that we have here. Um, you're going against a fellow FDUSA driver. How does it feel right now? This is awesome. I just want to keep going again and again and again. So uh, a little too aggressive there. My chase against Odie, he's lightning quick in that little uh, S13. So I had trouble catching him. We're going to try and uh, adjust and, and make up for that now. Had a little tap on him in the, in the big corner there. Kudos to Odie for staying in it. And in the lead, I just tried to lay it down. So I guess we're going to go again. And um, I'm still working on finding out the car, learning the car again. It's been a lot of years since I was in it, but I'm having a blast, and I hope everyone here um, is having a blast as well. So I know you're probably comfortable in this car because you've driven it before a couple of times, but it's not a car that you're always driving. It's obviously a right-hand drive car, and uh, you've been in Japan uh, for maybe a couple of days, and you probably went up and practiced a little bit in a different car. How does it feel to be in this RSR 8.6? It's it's such a cool car. It's uh, it's so it's it's so sort of aggressive. It's very nimble. Uh, it it reacts very quickly. So you got to stay on top of it. But there's gobs of power, gobs of, of torque. Nate did a retune on it before we got here. And like you said, I've been up to Ebisu practicing a little bit, getting my right hand drive groove on. And you know, this whole trip to Japan has been a blast. Um, four years without coming here, we're finally back, and it it feels really good. All right, so that means we're going to be seeing you a little bit more uh, often in Japan. My wife, Hunter, loves it here. So do I. Um, and, you know, the, the short answer is yes. We're going to see us more here. All right, so let's see you go and get the RSR. He came through on yeah, that. RSR Ichiban. We'll see if he gets that number what one spot. What a gentleman. Spot. Odie Bakshi's highest ranking in the backy competition, so he will lead here on this second battle. It's a one-more-time battle. Odie Bakshis and Frederick Osbo. All right, leaving that star chicane. There goes Odie Bakshis, flicks it in. You can see that thing very loose, pulls it in that first outside zone. Frederick Osbo, not leaving anything for debate there. You can see that good close proximity of Frederick Osbo, not applying too much pressure, just right there in the pocket. RSR, Itchy Bun? 
So, you know, <laughs> Odie leaves the door open a little bit here. Watch this. He gives a, a great jump, but he's off that first and second outside zone, and Osbo just absolutely attacks. This time, he's still very, very close. Mm -hmm. The duration of proximity is great. He doesn't hit Odie. Nothing can be said negative about the chase. He followed him like a moving clipping point. And so now, because he's got the lead run coming up, I think the advantage is to Osbo here. He has no smoke to deal with, no other competitor. We know how good of a lead driver he can be. And now he just did the, a tremendous job in the chase. So I would say that Osbo is in a really good position here. Send it, here we go. Frederick Osbo leads in the RSR Trip Festival 2023. Look at Odie, oh, oh. Odie gets pressure. Odie goes into the side of him. Hey, risk it for the biscuit, baby. So was it hit and then go off? Is that I, what happened there? Yeah, I think so. I think Odie, I think Odie came in way too hot. Take a look at this replay. I think Odie overcooked it, it goes in the side of him. Oswo swinging over, Odie dives in, yeah, real quick, he taps oh, yeah. in there. Yeah, I think that's pretty much gonna be all she wrote for Odie Bocchis. Uh, you know what, honestly, Jared, though, I think, he, I think he had to do that. I think he had to be very aggressive from the initiation on in order to keep pace with Osbo. And when you're just on the margins, so close, looks like we've got ourselves a winner. Celebratory donuts for the boys. Odie Boxy, Frederick Osbo. And we have our one, two, and three. Where they end up. Make some noise for him as they step outside of the vehicle. Odie Bakshis. Novotero Tanaguchi. And here we are. Is it RSR Ichiban? Make some noise for Frederick Osbo, Odie Bakshis, and Novotero Tanaguchi. All right, we start with third place. We start with third place. So third place here at RSR Drift Festival 2023. Presenting the trophies, our CEO, Kumiko Tare and Kengo Tarai. So again, thank you so much. Kumiko and Kengo. So third place, Novatero Tanaguchi. <laughs> and now we announce the number one finisher. And again, your winner here at RSR Drift Festival 2023. And again, we still have our team competition. Again, celebrating 20 years of RSR. Your winner here, RSR Drift Festival 2023 Suzuka Twin Circuit is Frederick the Norwegian Hammer Osbo RSR Ichiban. <laughs> Kamiko today and Kengo today, again presenting the trophies. There it is to Frederick oh, Osbo. Boy. Congratulations. And there oh, it is, again, the RSR 86. And a hug all around. And now second place. Second place here at oh RSR Drift Festival 2023. Yeah. Again, highest finisher in the backy competition is Odi Bakshis. Again, the Tere, Kumiko, and Kengo Tere presenting the trophies. Congratulations. The second place finish for Odi Bakshi. And there they are. We'll grab some photos, grab some videos. And again, we have the team competition after this. We're not done. We are not done. We got FD USA. And again, with a little help from a spanner wrench on Dylan Hughes' camp, car should be up and running and ready to go. There is one, two, and three. Again, congratulations, Frederick Osbo, Odi Bakshi, and Nobotero Tanaguchi. Let's throw it down to Robbie Nishida. Robbie, where are you at? What's going on? All right, so congratulations to Frederick Osbo. You did it. This is the 20-year anniversary for RSR and 
in an RSR car, you were able to take the win. I heard that it took you like 40 hours to get here this time. You were in South America. And you traveled far, far away. How does it feel to be in Japan after many years uh, after the COVID? Yeah, this this is too good to be true. You know, it, it's been it's been a little bit of a challenging FT season in the U.S. So to come back here, practice, meet everybody, get back up to speed in the Hachiroku, and then pull off this win among these legends, it, it feels really, really good. And you know, I kind of feel like a, a wrestler right now. I mean, this this is better than scripted, right? Like it's. Uh, I feel like a lot of people here. They they uh, they've been waiting for me to see this RSR Ichiban. There you go, guys. You guys wanted this, so it's RSR Ichiban Frederick Osbo taking the win. Now let me go ahead and move on to the next. How do you feel for getting second and also getting first in the uh, backy contest? It feels great. You know, I, in my wildest dreams, wouldn't have thought that I would be, when I started drifting, that I'd be here drifting with all these legends in Japan. Like, it is mind-blowing. So thank you so much, RSR, for, for inviting me, for having this event. And uh, it was so much fun. I've been driving this car since 2009. This is sentimental value to me because this is my first drift car. So it feels really nice to bring my first drift car ever to Japan to compete. It is just absolutely mind-blowing. All right, well, congratulations, guys. And let me move on to the third place. You know, he was about to have a fallout. Um, he did have contact with Dylan earlier, but then, you know, it is a festival, so let's, you know, keep things going. And he is in here. He was in the mix, and he made it to top three and uh, made third place. So, this is so he feels, you know, for times like this, he's going to go back and practice more because he never knows what's going to happen. Congratulations.